In this session, we'll be discussing the differences between Microsoft Dynamics CRM online and on-premise. My name is Gus Gonzalez, and I'm a Microsoft MVP for Dynamics CRM. Here's our session's agenda. First, we will talk about the infrastructure in which Microsoft Dynamics CRM online is hosted. Then we'll dive into the technical, administration, and support differences between online and on-premise, and we'll wrap up the session with some strategic differences. At the end of this session, you should be able to understand how the Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online infrastructure operates, understand the differences when it comes to working with CRM Online versus the on-premise version, and know how to leverage the value and support options available in Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. Let's talk about the infrastructure. Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online is hosted globally in six data centers. But along with those six data centers, we have multiple cache locations to ensure that our customers have access to the data in the fastest manner. Other Dynamics products, such as Dynamics Marketing and Microsoft Social Listening, are also hosted close by to ensure that access to their data is at the same level as accessing the CRM online data. Many companies decide to host their CRM data with us because of our privacy, security, and compliance within our data centers. Our physical and environmental security is top of the line. Our perimeter security ensures that nobody can access our premises. There's multi-factor authentication to get to the racks, and those racks are locked. There's extensive monitoring across the board and the personnel working within the data centers is highly skilled. They provide local support when it comes to replacing disks or other failures that just need a touch but don't provide any failure of service for your CRM online data. If there's a failure of service, we do have a self-healing process that is automated and it provides quick resolution without any human intervention. For example, if the front-end server fails to connect to a back-end server, we have a process that will take care of this and uh, ensure that there is a continued service on your CRM online data. There is 24-7 first response and monitoring support, which ensures that if there's a problem that our self-healing automation cannot solve, we have engineers that can come and fix the issue. All those issues are programmed into the self-healing module, so if the same issue happens again, that issue is automatically resolved without human intervention in the future. Now when it comes to your data, and because we have such a good support within each data center, your data is not only hosted on the server in which your organization is hosted, but we also make hot copies to a different server within the same data center. Not only that, when you press save on a CRM online record, your data is also replicated to the second data center hosted within your region. And nightly, we take backups of that data to ensure that everything you save within Dynamics CRM online is saved four times. In case of a disaster, our process is to detect the issue and decide whether we can fix the issue on site with our personnel or whether we have to fail over. If the decision is to run a failover command, all entries within DNS are updated and the service is restored. Now this only happens in case of a full data center failure. And in this case, the failure can take some time to resolve because of a DNS update. We cannot control the DNS update. That is the only thing holding us back. When it comes to compliance and data protection, we have extensive industry certifications. We certify so you don't have to. If you have a data center yourself, you would have to get certified, but we have them. Obviously, the physical security is something we discussed before when it comes to uh, multiple factor authentication, perimeter security, extensive monitoring, and locked racks. So we have all the certifications out there. And even on the European Union, in addition to the EU safe harbor, Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online will sign the standard contractual clauses created by the European Union. At this time, only Microsoft offers those model contract clauses. But not only Microsoft, any subcontractor we use has also established all the appropriate safeguards to ensure that your personal data is protected within the EU. 
So why go with Microsoft Dynamics CRM online? One of the things that is attractive about Microsoft Dynamics CRM is that we also have an on-premise version, which means that now you can have cloud on your terms. You can switch anytime. If at some point within your organization you decide to bring your CRM deployment on-premise, we have a power of choice that allow you to switch from the online version to the on-premise version. Our CRM online implementation is trusted and transparent, 99.9% .9 financially backed SLA, and we have extensive compliance and certifications as we discussed before. CRM online also integrates with your infrastructure. It provides an open architecture with the Microsoft Dynamics CRM SDK, and it works with Office, Azure, Office 365, SAP, Oracle, Dynamics ERP, and more. It provides a simplified management with the use of uh, device management via Intune with Bring Your Own Device and robust environment management with System Center. Let's talk about some technical differences. When it comes to technical differences, there aren't too many. On the SSRS report or custom report side, CRM Online only supports Fetch XML reports, so there are some limitations when it comes to organizations using SQL based reports. Fetch XML also has some limitations regarding the amount of records it can process, and this limits the member limit within static marketing lists. Dynamic static marketing lists don't suffer from this limit. For organizations who don't follow best practices uh, and try to manipulate the SQL side data directly, there is no such thing since you don't have access to the SQL side, only through the SDK. So SQL side unsupported data manipulation is impossible. Let's talk about some administrative differences. When it comes to backups and restoration, Microsoft Online Services is your IT department. So you don't have access to the data in which you can take your own backups and restore your own backups directly into your organization. You rely on Microsoft's online services to do that. The database space is a concern for some organizations. You start with 5 gigs of space and then you receive 2.5 gigs of extra storage for each 20 professional user licenses that you have within the organization. Obviously, because the server is hosted on the Microsoft Online Data Center, you don't have access to the registry, services running on the server, things like IIS. Within the authentication options, Office 365 provides the authentication for Dynamic CRM Online. However, there is the ability to use Active Directory Federation services to federate your own domain and provide pass-through authentication to CRM Online. With a simple process, it will uh, work just like if you had CRM on-premise. Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online also gives you the ability to have a dev and a user acceptance testing environment with the use of non-production organizations. When it comes to non-production organizations, you can have a dev environment in which using the administrative tools through Office 365, you can perform things such as a minimal copy in which you copy all the customizations and schema from your production organization into a dev environment. You can also dump all your data, customizations, and schema into another instance, such as a user acceptance testing instance. And all that information, once it has been developed and tested, can be dumped into your production organization. Now, these instances can be reset back to default. You can also keep images of them, one image at a time per instance. So if you have an image with configuration, you can default back to that. And obviously the key benefits of these organizations is that they are isolated, non-production online environments. They are hosted on the same environment as production instances. So the speed is comparable. The same performance that you get on your production environment is the one that you're going to get on the dev and test environments. They are a lower cost than a full production organization. If you have more than 25 professional user licenses within your organization, you receive a free test organization. You can always build, test whatever you build, break it, fix it, deploy it, reset it. You are the master of your organization. So it's really simple when it comes to testing and deploying functionality. Now, one thing that is important to know is that all the organizations that you have, the production and the non-production, share the same data space. 
So if you have, let's say, 10 gigs of uh, space, all those production instances and non-production instances are sharing those 10 gigs. So that's something important to have in mind. Now let's talk about support within Dynamics CRM Online. One of the big advantages of having Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online is that you have unlimited break fix incidents available for you to submit via the phone or the web. When you submit incidents via the web, you get a call back from the right engineer, depending on the issue that you're having. That eliminates your wait time and escalations in the time you have to spend on the phone. They are all included with your user subscription. Like I mentioned, they are online or via the phone and the responses on the next business day. Now let's talk about strategic differences between Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online and on-premise. CRM Online has continued its momentum since 2012 when it went from the visionaries to the leaders quadrant within the Garnered Magic quadrant. It moved up and it continues its rise. This picture is actually from July of 2013 where CRM on-premise was already in the leaders quadrant. Now there are multiple reasons why CRM Online has continued its momentum into the leaders quadrant. Some of them are the integration with the full Microsoft technology stack a significantly improved user experience in which Microsoft solved some of the problems that we saw with CRM 2011 and obviously the new process user interface. In my opinion, one of the biggest reasons why CRM Online continues to move on the leader's quadrant is because of its cadence. And Microsoft has made very clear that online, CRM Online will be always first. This is an example for the cadence this year in 2014. We had a Acquisition of Parature, which will increase the customer service capabilities for CRM Online. Leo has been released as part of the spring wave for CRM, along with the social listening and Microsoft Dynamics marketing. We continue to improve on the social space on the third quarter of this year with Libra. And you notice that for the fall wave we have vega which is a full crm release we have uh, improvements on the social listening space with hydra microsoft dynamics marketing improvements with electra and obviously the integration with parature version one coming up in the fall wave so if you notice there's a lot of releases coming and this cadence always putting online first is one of the things that makes crm online very attractive CRM Online is always keeping you up to date. When it comes to service improvements, if there's a major upgrade, for example, what we saw from CRM 2011 online to CRM 2013, customers have a time frame to decide when to update. And the idea is that customers have some time to upgrade any of the solutions that might not be compatible with a newer version. When we release new functionality such as Leo or Vega, you can opt in to receive the new functionality or you can simply wait until a new version has been released. When it comes to minor service updates such as update rollups, they are released about 10 times a year and unless they are disruptive in which your service is going to be taken down, we provide no communication. We simply apply the updates on the back, things like bug fixes, performance improvements and things like that. If there's any service disruption, our service status panel within the Office 365 Admin Center will show you when that service was disrupted or, there, or when there is a planned upgrade. And if there's any incident, we have full disclosure on incident responses, just giving you all the details for that. So we are 100% transparent and we're always keeping you up to date. So what are the key takeaways for this session? Number one is that the online infrastructure is available anytime, anywhere, and on any device. So users can access CRM online and their CRM online data as long as they have a connection to the internet. The technical and administrative differences between online and on-premise are minimal, which allows partners who already work with CRM on-premise to quickly start deploying CRM online. And the value and support for your customers is huge because Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online is hosted by Microsoft Online Services with top-notch security and compliance and also unlimited break-fix support included with every subscription to Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. So I hope you enjoy this presentation and thank you for watching.